Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christian Architect. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can draw a basic sliding door in AutoCAD. There will be two designs that we are covering for today. It's using four leaf sliding door and the other one is using three leaf of sliding door. Without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, just go to the rectangle and type in 2400 by 100 mm then press enter okay once you've done the rectangle now you go to the offset or explode sorry to explode the object and then you go to offset 20 mm and then you just offset uh, both left and right side it's just to indicate the outer frame of the sliding door and then offset 25 mm three times and then you go to the offset again and type in 605 mm then enter and then you go to offset again type in 30 mm you have to offset both left and right it's actually indicated the frame of the sliding door and now you can go to offset again repeat the same process offset 605 mm and then offset 30 mm both left and right side and then offset again 6 or 5 mm using the center line okay and then offset 30 mm again and the last one offset 30 mm now that we have a complete uh, frame now it's time to just trim all the unwanted line so we're just gonna select the line from right side to the left side the first one I'm going to trim is the this part here okay. so you can just uh, see how's the pattern of the sliding door and then just trim the unwanted line Now, in the case that you trim some of the line that it may appear uh, it trim all the way up to the halfway it's okay you can just uh, trim the line or you can at least click the blue square and then drag it to the top line All right, now that we have done our plan drawing, now let's move on to the elevation drawing. So it's the same thing. You still need to go to the rectangle and start from the bottom to the top and then type in 2400 for the width and the height is 2100. Now that you just select the line and then you're just going to make the elevation and the plan drawing align using the move button. Uh, try to make that align on the left side here. And then I'm just going to move that and uh, put a little bit of gap in between the plan and the elevation drawing. Alright, now we know that the frame is 20mm. Now we go to the offset, type in 20mm. And then offset 20mm for the frame. And then offset again 30mm. Now we can use the straight line. And then draw a vertical line from the plan drawing and then drag it to the bottom for the elevation drawing so that we can in identify or determine the exact position of the sliding door leaf and then you can just copy the line and then just drag it to the right side in which area that have the sliding door frame all right now that you have the indication on where is your door frame now you can select the square and then go to the explode to explode the object and then click the line go to the copy and then copy the line and follow the indication where is your uh, sliding door frame all right that's the final copy and then there you go that's your uh, position of your sliding door leaf and then you can just delete the reference line above all 
after we completed indicate the sliding doll leaf and then now we're just gonna go to the trim uh, and then just trim this part here and then you can select the center line and just click the blue line in drag it to the top And then we go to the line and then we're going to create a glazing symbol it's uh, usually a 45 degree angle however in this lesson I just gonna draw a random angle it's really up to you what's the length and what's the angle as long as it sees that a diagonal line okay and then you can shorten the line and then go to mirror mirror this line here okay so after you're done with the glazing symbol you just select the line and copy to the other frame and then after you complete this one uh, select the line and change it into the gray color now that you go to the line and then we're just gonna draw a horizontal line make that into a arrow sign it's just indication of the sliding door direction and then go to the mirror command select the object and then you can just mirror the error and then you can go to the dimension to check on the width of the sliding door is 2400 mm and then for the height is 2100 mm and then going to the plan drawing you can check on the dimension so 20 mm for the outer frame and then the width is 100 mm and then the inner frame is 30 mm and then the each of the sliding door leaf is 605 mm and similarly the inner frame is 30 mm thickness of it is 25 mm this is the details of the dimension on each of the sliding door leaf and then for the next part we're gonna cover the three leaf of the sliding door the dimension is 1800 by 100 mm the method is quite similar like we did in the first one but for this one is the width is slightly smaller and then you go to the explode select the object and just explode the object and then go to the offset set 20 mm both left and right and then you can hover your mouse to the offset again type in 10 mm to offset and then offset again 25 mm When you completed with the offset tools, now you're gonna use the copy command instead of the offset. You're gonna copy 30 mm for the inner frame, and then for the one leaf of this sliding door is 586 mm. And then from here, we can go to the copy command again and type in 30 mm and then repeat the same process go to the copy again 30 mm 30 mm is actually the inner frame now that you have completed all the line for the sliding door now move on to the selecting all the line by moving your cursor from right side to the left side. Once it's highlighted, you can go to the trim command and trim all the unwanted line.
and then our plan drawing is completed now we're just gonna hover it to the top and then we're gonna draw a rectangle for the elevation drawing the size will be 1800 by 2100 for the height okay we're just gonna use the move command just to make that align a little bit with the plan drawing and the elevation by using the move tool take the corner here and match that into a corner of the plan drawing and then go to the move tools again and then just move it going down to ensure that there's a gap right there okay and then be similar process as long you know the outer frame is 20 mm and the inner frame is 30 mm just simply using the offset tool will make it easier for you to do and then like I like we did in the first one by using the plane drawing as an indicator and then go to the line command and draw a reference line for the frame for each of the sliding door leaf so the, now we're doing the uh, vertical line we already have the center point of each of the sliding door so what we can do next is that just to use the line command and then just copy take the base point from here move it to the right side and copy meet at the right intersection of the sliding door and then when you complete it with the frame you can just delete the reference line above in between the plan drawing and the elevation drawing now that you're just gonna clean a little bit of your drawing which one that the line should go match with the outer frame okay now that we completed our sliding door we're just gonna do some uh, adjustment on the positioning of the sliding door so that it will be aligned one and another and then we can go to the dimension and check the width and also the height of the sliding door the width is 1800 by 2100 and then you can just add some uh, wording or text for the your sliding doors just to indicate the dimension and uh, what sort of material they have been used for this uh, design all right i think that's about it for our video today i hope you learned something from this video Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you all. I'll see you on to the next video.